All right, so here we are again at the end of another month and we're gonna do another takeaways video where I'll just talk about a few of the different things that I've enjoyed or taken away from this past month. Now, the first thing I always like to talk about is my favorite piece of tech. And my favorite piece of tech has for sure been the Insta360 GO 2. Now, I'm actually using the Insta360 GO 2 as a second angle in this video today. I'm gonna try it out, see something different. And to me, it kind of just highlights the thing that I love the most about this camera, which is just its huge versatility. So far, I've used it for all sorts of things, like I've used it for product shoots, I've used it for time lapses and hyper lapses, I've used it for slow mo, I've used it for shooting video of my skateboard, and I've even started using it for kind of vlog style stuff. I've got a video where I'm not using apps on my phone for 30 days, so I'm trying to document the process and how that's going. And I've just been using the Go 2 because again, it's got a microphone so I can record audio and it's just so easy to pull out of your pocket, start recording. You don't have to, don't have to worry about plugging in your microphone and the battery and SD cards. It's all in the one little package. And it's just so handy and convenient. And the footage honestly looks great. Particularly when you're out and about outdoors in like sunlight, it just looks great. If you're interested, check out the link in the description. It is an affiliate link for pretty easy. And, and honestly, even if Insta360 hadn't sent me the camera um, and I'd pay for it out of my own pocket, I think I'd still genuinely love it. It's just honestly a great camera. So the number two thing that I wanna talk about is my favorite book for the month, which was The One Thing by Gary Keller and Jay Papasan. Now I haven't completely finished the book, but the, pretty much the essence of what the book is talking about is that there's a lot of power in just focusing on one thing at a time, rather than trying to multitask and do lots of things in your life and spread yourself thin. It talks about picking one thing, focusing on it, and really putting everything into that one thing. The book talks about how multitasking is actually a lie, which is kind of annoying to me because I love feeling like I'm good at multitasking, but apparently science says that you can't really do it. And the other thing which I found interesting is that it talks about how willpower is a limited resource. It's kind of like decision making or just your general energy. It just depletes throughout the day. So by the end of the day, you've probably used up all your willpower. Whereas at the beginning of the day is when you've got most of your willpower. So it talks about allocating and managing your willpower rather than just trying to constantly muster more because there's nothing more, there's no more willpower to muster up. And I find this really interesting, again, because I've always sort of prided myself of doing multiple things at once and throughout most of my adult life so far, I've just been trying out all sorts of different things kind of all at once. I remember one point in my life, maybe five or six years ago, where I had, I think I had eight jobs at once. Obviously not all full-time, not all part-time or casual jobs, but again, I was just sort of spreading myself out and doing all sorts of different things and trying all sorts of different things. And I think there was a time for that in my life where I was trying lots of different things, but I think I'm at a stage now where I've learned a lot more about myself, what I like, what I don't like, and I'm finding myself wanting to narrow down and sink my teeth into something uh, in particular, rather than just doing lots of small things kind of on an average level. And to be honest, I think for me, the one thing that I've really discovered in the last couple of years is video and making films and that kind of thing. I just really have been enjoying it a lot. And so I'm making an effort to really sink my teeth into it, focus on it and spend my time on it rather than trying to do a whole bunch of different things. And I've even been thinking about that when it comes to taking different work opportunities and things I'll normally just say yes to. I'm finding myself saying, Man, hey, maybe that doesn't quite fit with the one thing that I wanna be doing right now. So maybe I'll say no to that thing. Which really closely ties into the life lesson that I've learned this month. And I think it's pretty much along the same lines of the book anyway, but it's basically just always keep moving forward. If you're having a challenging time or you're not really good at something and you wanna be, then just keep going, keep moving forward, keep consistently uh, practicing, taking the next step, and eventually, hopefully, you'll end up where you wanna end up, or at least further along that path, along that journey than you would have if you just had sort of given up on it. And again, I think kind of relating back to this YouTube channel, I've been doing it for a bit over two years now and the amount of times I've thought about quitting, it's kind of crazy. I don't know why I haven't quit already. <laughs> Where it's like, what's the point? This is too hard. I'm not really getting anything out of it, blah, 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 blah. But I've just kept going because in my head, eventually it will get me to the place where I want to be in terms of my skill with video. And even now at this stage, just only two years in, I'm already getting opportunities and doing things that I wouldn't have otherwise been doing just because I've been consistently making videos for the last two years. 
and that makes me excited for the future. It makes me think, you know, where could I be in another two years with video and that type of thing? Where could my skill level be in another two years of consistently making videos every week? So yeah, that's one thing I'm trying to keep in mind. Just keep going, just keep moving forward, one step in front of the other, and uh, you'll eventually, hopefully, get me where to go. Now, let's talk about goals. So how did I go with my goals for March? which were to publish eight videos and then to publish one newsletter. Now I published seven videos, including this one. So I just missed out. I could make the excuse I was busy that week. I was busy. That's also kind of a poor excuse in my book. I still should have made a video, but yeah, I made seven instead of eight. And then the newsletter, I didn't publish a newsletter. I'm sorry, I should have. There's like 20 people who have subscribed to my newsletter. So I'm sure they're all hanging out for my, my newsletter, not, but I will get there. Uh, I'm not going to make it the goal for next month because I can't promise that I'll stick to it because I feel like making newsletters is kind of like a whole different thing. It's like writing and collating information. It's not really video, so it doesn't quite fit into my normal workflow. I'll get it in there eventually, but I didn't get it there this month. Sorry, guys. Which leads me to my goal for April, which is I want to post two, at least two reels to Instagram because I've actually noticed, I put some really simple basic reels. One was just of a shot of my two MacBooks, just sort of a zoom out shot, which I posted to Instagram maybe, I don't know, two weeks ago or something like that. And it's actually gotten quite a lot of impressions and views and it's all organic. And that's kind of interesting to me because that could be an avenue that could help me grow the channel. So I'm kind of curious to see how, if I put some real intention into some reels for Instagram, I'm thinking I'll just cut up some of my YouTube videos into an Instagram reel. I'd be really curious to see how they perform and whether they generate more subscribers to the channel and so on and so forth. So that is my goal for April, post two reels to Instagram. But other than that, don't forget to check out my other playlists. I will link one in here, or is it here? I can't remember, here or here. And there'll be a video to watch as well, so make sure you check out that video. Other than that, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.